Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would make an update on what's happening in the world of finance. So we are going to get into everything including stock appreciation, GSE over world return, cryptocurrencies and retirement account calculations. So if you are interested, make sure to watch to the very end of this video. talk about is GSE if you don't know what that is is the Ghana stock exchange and recently they just recorded the highest returns ever with a returns of 178 percent that's amazing but when you think about it COVID had something to play in it during the COVID era a lot of businesses found it difficult to run their business most businesses were either running at break even or a loss so when the economy became pretty much normal most businesses had an increase in product or service consumption so that pretty much helped um, increase their stock prices because businesses had a lot of cash lying around that most of them didn't even know what to use for now other factors come to play when the stocks of a business increases but i'll say more or less COVID had a huge role to play in it and that also had a part to play in um, gse recording the highest return ever that's 178 percent Imagine making 178% return on your investment a year annually. Like, that's epic, that's dope, that's what I don't even know what to say, but it's just amazing. And I think there's still more room for growth in the Ghana stock market. Um, as I know a lot of people don't really know much about it, a lot of people don't really have that time to invest into individual stocks. But I think this one thing I'll be focusing more on improving my portfolio when it comes to the GSE because even though um, they've recorded the highest return ever, businesses in Ghana, in my own opinion, are underrated and their stock prices could be more or less <laughs> more than what it is right now. And as businesses continue to grow and grow, produce more products for consumption by customers, the businesses grow more and their shareholders make more money because they stock price continues to increase as the business also increases now if you watch my retirement video i may mention that data bank is my brokerage firm and that's for only mutual funds and um, i just wanted to make that clear when it comes to um, individual stocks i have a different brokerage because data bank more or less doesn't give you that option to invest into individual stocks their speciality is more or less investing into mutual funds and other products like mutual funds like e park b fund I, I talk a whole lot about it in the retirement video but when it comes to individual stocks i have a different broker um there's a lot actually a lot of brokers in ghana but i don't want to make this video long so i'm not going to talk much about it i have a whole video planned for talking about um, individual stocks how to invest into it because i've learned from my own experience that trying to buy individual stocks or shares of companies in ghana is a lot difficult it's very very difficult and a lot of information is not out there on to how you should do it so i have a dedicated video i plan to make talking about everything involving individual stocks if you are interested in it how to invest in it how to buy everything you need to know a step-by-step -step guide so um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested so uh, you're notified when i post that video but the whole gist of it is that the ghana stock exchange year after year after year has improved substantially now, you take a company like mtn about a year ago it was one share of mtn was worth about 50, 50 pesos or 20 pesos i think now it's at one cd 20 pesos and it will continue to grow so i think there's still more room for improvement when it comes to the Ghana stock exchange is very 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 underrated in my own opinion so yeah like i said i'm going to focus more on it and try to build that portfolio so that my investments can reach a point of taking care of my expenses and creating cash flow at the same time if you've been on this channel for long you will realize that i've made a couple of videos talking about cryptocurrency and how blockchain is my main platform for buying and selling crypto well not anymore i always want to be as transparent as possible you guys so for a month now i've stopped using blockchain not because their services are bad but just because um compared to other platforms their network fees are extremely high and you also need a usd account before you can withdraw from blockchain you can transfer your cryptocurrencies to other platforms like coinbase but like i said um the network fee for blockchain is extremely high 
for example the last time i tried sending ten dollars from my blockchain account to my coinbase account and the network fee was almost nine dollars that's absurd like nine i'm selling ten dollars and you are charging me network fees is nine dollars not that um, blockchain services are bad but compared to other platforms they are Network fees are extremely high for me, in my own opinion. But before I continue, I would like to take a second to tell you that um, this is not financial advice in any way. I'm not an expert. I'm an entertainer who makes video on YouTube to entertain you. So I really appreciate it if you could research on your own after listening to whatever I have to say. However, the platform I use now for buying Bitcoin is BitAfrica. I'm still testing out the platform, so I won't recommend it to anyone, but you can check it out. I'm still testing it out though. But for other um, cryptocurrencies like Doge, Ethereum, um, I use Coinbase to buy it. But you can also use Binance depending on your preference. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. If you like the video, please, please subscribe to the channel and share this video on your social media platform. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So if you like this video, please share it on your social media platform. It will really help me out. You can hit me up at AOK Hagan on Instagram. Till we meet again, have a wonderful rest of your day.